Hello brothers and sisters. My name is Mr. Suleiman from Sami, Tanzania. I want to share with you today about how to prepare PowerPoint presentation. In other words, it is called PPT. This is another program and a Microsoft Office whereby we normally use it for our presentations in the seminars but we as teachers we use it in the classes for our presentation of our lessons in the lectures and, the, and so on so I, I would like to share with you on how to prepare simply the way of preparing the PowerPoint presentation uh, once we start first of all uh, in your startup menu you have to find or you have to look where is the PPT, for example, this is my startup menu, and the, for this is window 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 eight. You may find it somewhere here. This is Excel and so on. Okay, you may find it anywhere, but for myself, it is here. This is PowerPoint 2013. Then you click to open. Then it will open like this one. You may find that these are sample of the presentations that I have presented or have prepared before this one and the soon I prepared the elementary survey you may find it here but in the presentation here in your startup menu or in your startup you'll find a lot of presentations uh, alongside here but for starting you have to click blank presentation then to open black presentation after opening the blank presentation it will find uh, the first slide whereby it's written click to add the title and then click to add subtitle click to add the title and click to add sub then after seeing that click add the title then you click you write the title of your presentation Remember that this is the first presentation. So we prefer in the first presentation you, you, you add or you write the title of your presentation. Uh, and normally we prefer in capital letters. For example, here you are preparing the lesson for your class. For myself, I'm teaching geography. Uh, I want to prepare a presentation for Form 3 geography in the topic of survey. Now I write here elementary elementary survey elementary survey now after there your presentation will look like that then here down there is another place to, to add subtitle whenever you want to add something there you may be given a chance to add then after adding there I can prefer that in this subtitle I want to add my objectives, objectives of the lessons, objectives, objectives. In this lesson, I want one, two, and three. In my objectives, whether I, I may have different objectives, sorry, whether I may have different objectives, I can choose to line them. Objective number one. Uh, Either the student should know the meaning in small letter, the meaning of full survey, the meaning of survey. Then I can say, let me go to object number two, the importance, importance of survey, and also number three. Uh, what I can say, the importances here you can find. Uh, sorry, importances of survey. Number three. Number three, I can say uh, equipments used. Equipment used in chain 
survey. These are my three objectives I want to learn. I want my student to learn in this in this lesson. Now here, after here, now I can say that this is not attractive. This is not attractive. Let me choose a, a design. Come here to the design, this one. Then you choose a design you want. For example, myself, I can say, let me use this design. Or I can say that, no, this design is not good. Let me choose this one. And the, of course, notice all that is not good as well. Let me choose another. Let me choose this one or this one. Or I can say, let me go this one. So the design of your survey or design of your presentation, it will depend on, on yourself. Then after, after, after here, now you may, you, may, you may edit the size of your title as you want, or you may reduce the size. Also, you may choose uh, the font. I can use this one in order to be seen well, and also may highlight your objectives also to, to, to bold them or whatever in order to be, to be seen well. Then after there, if you want to add another slide, this is not this one is not enough. You may click to add another slide. Here under this slide, you right click, then you, you, you come here, new slide, then you click. This is new slide. Now in the new slide, you may add subtitle, for example, the meaning, the meaning of survey the meaning of survey. Now here you may write your meaning and your table. But you have the chance to insert the table. For example here, when you click you will be told to write the number of columns and rows, whatever, in order to insert the table. But also here, also you have the chance to insert the chart. Chart of your own. For example, I want this chart. Or you may decide uh, any type of chart you want here. This is the chart. And then after clicking the chart, for example here, you click OK, then the chart will appear in your presentation, like that one. But also, you have another chance to, to insert videos, or you have another chance to insert uh, what we call smart, smart graphic, smart ad graphic, to depend on what you want. So here you may be given the chance to write or to insert any chart that you prefer. And the, inside that chart you may be given the time or the chance to write anything you, you want inside. So after clicking to the chart then you click OK so that you can add your chart. Like this one. So then after that, after adding this chart, you may give him also another chance uh, to, 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 to add the transition. What you call transition is how your animation or how your slide will in, will come into the uh, once you play. For example, once I say this one, then let me apply to the first, uh, first slide. Uh, for this first slide, I want to come inside like this one. Also, that is animation. Or you can choose another animation like this one. So after choose there, you'll find that in the first slide there is the sign of star. Here it means that your your transition, your transition has been affected by what you have you have chosen. Or you can say that let me like this one. Okay. So that is how your animation will appear, the appearance of your slide. Then here in animation also, here it depends, here this issue is, uh, for example here, the first weight, this animation, that one was transition, and this one is uh, animation. I can say that, let me, elementary survey, I want to be, to be like this one, or animation, I want, I want it to be like this one. So after there, or you may choose another one uh, of your preference, like this one, or like this one. Yes, then you say that also uh, the objective words also I want to be like this one. Yes, 
or you can say that no it's not enough let me appear uh, like this one uh, let me highlight again yes here you are or let me use this one also it will be like this one so and the next slide also you have to choose how your animation will appear so my fellows after adding the animation here you may add anything you want either table or pictures or sometime online pictures if you are internet connected or sometime uh, chat but also you may if you want you not after writing your notes here or you may copy and paste from the word there then it depends on but what is important in in, in, in the presentation you have to look about the, the size and the font and also the color of your of your words for example the student here uh, they prefer to to see the color that is attractive and the, that can be seen from the behind depend on the size of the class then if you want to add another another slide here you right click also then you add new slide or not not like that you may say let me add by using after here you click here at the uh, after at the bottom of the, the last slide then you click enter in your in your computer so it's, it's very important to, to play with your toolbar once you are home here you may design the layout and the, what about your slide the easy insert you may insert pictures you may insert photo shapes and whatever what you want into your slide also means it word art and the, anything you want design here here it depends on what design you want a several designs are available here and the different colors are available for your presentation so but if you want your slides to appear with different designs for example i want my face slide to have another design then the second slide to have another design you have to right click then you come to the design after come to the design you say that apply to the selected design for example i have applied there then you find that the first slide it has got a different design and the second slide it has got different design so even in the third one you click it after click it you come to the design for example this one then you say that you right click then you say let me select it to, uh, to apply to the selected design if you want the design to be applied to all slides or whatever so here you have to, to select let me select to another design so another the, the list the, the, the design will appear with different uh, the slides will appear with different designs here transition as i said that here is the place whereby your design or your slide will come into presentation after clicking or after allowing it to play then this is how it will play then after there in animation animation here you design for the words for example here elementary uh, survey it has got different animation uh, other objectives has got different animation and once you select it will appear in number for example you select number one this one number two number two number two but if i want to say this number number three this one to, to appear in different also it will appear in different so i hope that you have enjoyed well and you have to try the important is to to try to use uh, your you are you are you are you are, you are, you are you have to to, 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 to to use your toolbar here you have to use your toolbar well so that you can create a good and attractive uh, PowerPoint presentation thank you very much